Hi, I'm Victor, founder of Jerry Joy. We make virtual companions for seniors. So software doesn't have to be hard. And today, we're going to learn how to code in Java. Now that's a really big question, how to code in Java. That's like how to talk in Spanish. So this is just going to be a quick introduction. So you're going to want to download the Java Developer Kit, which is available online on the Oracle website if you Google it. So once you've installed the Java JDK, you're ready to go and you can start coding your first program. So to do that, you can either download an IDE or integrated development environment, which is a little spiffier, kind of like using a fancy word processor to, to write up an essay. But for this purposes, we're just going to use uh, Microsoft's Notepad, which is really simple. So you just start up the run dialog with Windows R or go start menu run Notepad and open that up with a clean slate. And then you're going to type in your first Java program. And the way it's going to go is Java is an object-oriented language, so everything comes in the form of an object which can belong to a class of objects. So to create this simple program, we're going to create a class of objects called Hello World. And to define this class of objects, we need to give it some functionality. And so in, in programming, uh, these objects have certain functions. And in Java, they call them methods. So to create our, our one main method, we're just going to type public static void main string args, square brackets, and bracket. And what this rather cryptic little phrase means, um, you will learn if you get a book on Java. But essentially, we're defining uh, the main method of this hello world class, which basically will just print out the words hello world. And the main method is just called by default if you run this as an executable. And of course, if you get more advanced, you can add other types of methods to make objects do anything you want. But in this case, what we want it to do here is call the system libraries and call, in particular, the print line or print ln method and pass that the argument hello world. And what that's going to do is it's going to print out the, wor the words hello world on the screen when we run this program. So that's it. You've, you've coded up your first Java program. You want to save this now somewhere on your computer. I'm going to save it in my temp directory. And I'm going to call it um, hello world.java. Same, same file name as the class name, except with a .java. And then in Notepad, you're going to need to select all files instead of text document. Otherwise, it won't save properly. Now save that. Now you have your source code saved on your computer. You're, you're already halfway done to being a Java programmer. Now you want to pop up the command line by running Windows R and then typing in CMD or just running the command line through your start menu. And browse to your folder where you saved that source code. And now you're going to want to run the, the Java compiler to compile your source code, which is in a human readable form, into a form that the computer can interpret as instructions to do stuff. So in order to do that, we type in Java C to invoke the Java compiler, and then just type in hello world.java, which is the source code that we just wrote up. And in a second, it's done, because it's a pretty simple program. Now to run our program, all you need to do is type in Java without the C, hello world, the name of the class, uh, without the dot anything. Because actually, in this directory, it, the Java compiler has created a file called hello world.class. Uh, but you don't need to type in the dot class. We, we run it automatically just by typing in Java hello world. And you'll see what happens. Hello world. Congratulations. You just wrote your first Java program and ran it. And now you can have some fun. You can change it to say anything you want.